Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cora. In the last video, we upgraded the battery for this 2019 BMW i3 uh, from the original 120 ampere hour to our custom 129 ampere hour. And today, we are going to do the real world range test. We are going to drive this car from 100% SOC all the way down to nearly 0% to see how far it can really go under real world conditions. So follow me, let's get inside and check the battery status. Yes, as you can see, the car is fully charged, 100% SOC, and we have around 327 kilometers estimated range. Based on this range, we expect the entire test will take around two days. As usual, we will use MS3 to monitor the battery status in real time. And as you can see, um, SOH is 100%, SOC 100%. Capacity 129.64 ampere hour, and the battery temperature is um, 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's recite the trip meter and hit on the road. It's 2:03 p.m. We are starting today's range test. It's autumn here in China. The weather is very comfortable, so. As you can see, the temperature, the outside temperature is around 22 degrees Celsius. So we, we don't need to use the air conditioning. There are two people in the car and we were driving a mix of both city roads and countryside roads. During the driving, I will give you a regular updates on the state of charge, distance traveled and energy consumptions so you can follow along with the entire test process. MI3 is reading the data the whole time. We have arrived at Weishui Scenic Area. The scenery here is really beautiful. So if you come to visit our company, I will definitely bring you here to have a look. Okay, SOC now is down to 
Uh, we have traveled 108 kilometers and we still have around 213 kilometers remaining of range. Um, the battery temperature now is 25.69 degrees Celsius. So the battery temperature increased by um, around 2 degrees Celsius. The consumption is around 11.8 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. The car is performing very smooth on a mix of city and countryside roads with steady acceleration and no sign of power drop. The driving experience is very comfortable. Okay, as OC now is down to 59.5%. Uh, 142.6 kilometers have been traveled. And we still have 176 kilometers remaining of the range. The energy consumption is 11.9 kilowatt hour per 100 km. The average range speed is 40.3 km per hour. And the outside the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. We didn't use the air conditioning. And the battery temperature is still 26 degrees Celsius. Um, it's 5 o'clock right now, and we just uh, back to the office. And we will continue to test tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Okay, this is the second day for the test. Um, as you know, we have traveled uh, 142 kilometers in the last day, but now we have 181 kilometers. This is because I use this car for my daily commute, um, around 40 kilometers back and forth. So we got another 40 kilometers. And now the SOC is 48.5%. And we still have 142 kilometers remaining of range. So it's time to continue the test. Let's go. Okay, we start today's test now. And as you can see, the outside temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. Just like yesterday, so we we don't use the air conditioning either. And the battery temperature is around 22.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's keep on going. For today's test, we will mainly driving on the city roads. And also, there are two people in the car for the test. Okay, the battery is now at 30% SOC and we have driven uh, 235 kilometers and still have 84 kilometers remaining of range. And the average speed is 41.7 kilometers per hour. The battery temperature is stable at 23 degrees Celsius. Since we still have 74 kilometers remaining of range, so we decided to 
um, drive to the countryside road we dropped yesterday. So far, so good. The car is performing great. No warnings, no overheating, during braking and deceleration, the regenerative braking system is working properly. And the range estimate seems accurate. SOC now is down to 14.5%, um, 282 kilometers have been traveled, and we still have 42 kilometers remaining of range. It's almost 12 o'clock, we're ready to go back to the office, and we will continue the test after lunch break. Okay, we were just received the low battery warning. We are at around 12.5% SOC. Um, no performance drop yet. Everything still feels normal. We will keep driving carefully until we hit 0%. Okay, we will just reach 1.5% SOC, um, almost 0%. The dashboard is now showing 2 km remaining of range. The car is still moving normally, no sudden drop in power or system warnings. Now let's back and take a closer look at the data. All right, we have completed the road test. We drove a total of uh, 323 kilometers um, from 100% to, down to 0% with no air conditioning. The average energy consumption is around 12.1 uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. And the drive speed is around 44.1 kilometer per hour. The battery temperature is around 27 and degrees Celsius now because it's afternoon. Um, the outside temperature is a bit higher than before. Acceleration consistency and the regenerative braking system has working reliable with any without any issues. This proves that our 45 kilowatt hour battery upgrade can deliver a real world range of over 300 kilometers. For BMW S3 owners looking for more range and a new life for their cars, this upgrade is a game changer. So whether you are commuting daily or planning longer trip, this battery makes your S3 truly practical again. If you want to upgrade your BMW S3, Nissan Leaf or Nissan ENV200, feel free to reach out. I will put my contact information in the description below. 
Um, don't forget to like, subscribe for more EV battery upgrades. So see you guys in the next video. Bye!